So you're trying to create a table in a Microsoft Fabric Lake House, and you keep on hitting this error. Why is that? Well, I can tell you right now, that is by design. So here we are in Microsoft's documentation. And as you can see, the SQL Analytics endpoint is very clearly in read-only mode when you're using a lake house. It comes down to what the SQL endpoint is meant to do in a lake house. The SQL endpoint is meant to provide high performance, low latency queries, but it's not meant to read and to write. The lake house end user is supposed to be more of a data engineer or a data scientist, someone who's really benefiting from using a technology like Apache Spark, which is doing distributed computing. That said, the Microsoft Fabric Warehouse is designed for that. So its SQL endpoint will let you read and write using T-SQL. That use case is supposed to be more of the analyst or the BI engineer, the person who's actually building dashboards or are writing queries and doing analysis. So how can you create a table in a Microsoft Fabric lake house? Well, I said it just now. You can use a Microsoft Fabric notebook. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So here's that query that I showed at the start of the video that I was trying to run via the SQL endpoint, but was throwing an error. As you can see, even though I hit run one more time, it still wasn't liking it. So that was a hopeful run. So I'm gonna go back to that exact same workspace. I'm gonna click new item right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a notebook. So I'm gonna search for notebook, then click notebook. Then when it's gone ahead and loaded, I'm going to attach the lake house to that notebook. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna hit skip tour. And then I'm gonna go add data items, existing data sources, and I'm going to add in my lake house. Now that this is created, I have a few different options to create the table. I can use PySpark or I could use Spark SQL to read or to write that table. Jumping then back over to our lake house, we have the original T SQL that we had tried to execute in the SQL endpoint. So let's go ahead and let's copy this. And then let's go back over to our notebook and let's paste it back in. Now we will need to adjust a few things. The first thing that we're gonna to need to remove is the DBO. And then we're going to need to change the var chars to strings. Now the reason why we're doing this is because the endpoint is using T SQL, whereas what we're doing right now is we are using Spark SQL. So I'm gonna go back over here, hit string, and then hit execute. And what this should do is this should create a table in our lake house that we can now insert data into. So I'm gonna go right over here. I'm gonna go refresh. And there we go. We now have customer orders. Going back into our SQL endpoint, can we see that same table? Well, let's give it one more refresh right here. And hopefully now there we are, we can now see our table. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. My name is Ned, this little guy right here, this is my dog Jai, and it's nighttime right now. So I hope you have a good night. Talk to you later.